Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I just wanted to thank the girls in the Magpie Glitter group on Facebook as they came up with the name Ice Queen for this tutorial. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. So I'm using the Ink London acrylic system today, but you can use your system of choice. And I'm using a clear powder and a cover pink powder. I'm using my favourite acrylic brush to work with. This is the Crystal Nails A8 brush. So I'm sculpting clear tips using the stiletto side of these um, dual ended sculpting forms, but you can absolutely apply clear nail tips with adhesive. And then I'm making my own acrylic mix using Blossom and Crystal, and Crystal is actually the inspiration behind these nails because I was dying to use her in something. So Blossom is a white iridescent and Crystal are these tiny little iridescent pieces. So the recipe for my Ice Queen mix is nine parts clear acrylic, two parts Blossom and one part Crystal. And I found that this quantity will complete two full sets. So I've completed my right hand already and I've got the two middle nails as fades and the other two as full glitter nails. So I'm going to demo one of each now for you. So as I said, I'm sculpting a clear tip and I'm keeping this super, super thin as I just want it to be a platform for my design. So here's a close up of my mix and it is so, so pretty, I love it. So my index finger is going to be a full glitter nail and you just need to put a thin layer on of this. You don't need it to be thick because we're going to be capping it with clear afterwards. So now I'm doing the fade nail, so I'm going in with my cover, and again, this is just for colour, so it can be really quite thin, and then just blend it sort of halfway down the nail. And then you can apply the glitter as well, really quite thin, and just fade it up the nail. So I'm going to cap this one in clear, wait for them to set, and then I'm going to file, buff, and top coat. 
So here are the finished nails and I use the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Gel because it's super, super shiny. And I'm so glad I did these. I've been dying to do like a sort of fantasy set or something that I wouldn't normally wear, to be honest. So I'm so glad I got the opportunity to do these. So I really hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.